Hey guys, G Fast Cat here. I'm sorry if you're picking up the noise there or mowing the lawns right outside my window. But I wanted to go ahead and record this video because I have it all set up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do another drawing Pokemon from random. So I've got the I got my tablet here set up with the Pokemon randomized generator. Random Pokemon generator. That's what it's called. I have it set to one Pokemon and no sprites so I can't see what it is and all generations so this is going to be one through seven last time I think I did one and two instead of so uh, I'm going to get started here so let's hit the generate button oh of course the first one is Koilava which happens to be my favorite Pokemon ever so I think I can draw that one. Let's see here if I can spell it. Let's see, quite a lot of here. It's going to be kind of doodly. Let's see here, he's got kind of his body's kind of like this. making his head like huge apparently and then his body is like it's got coloration like this because his eye comes right in here there's his little eye I know some people do time challenges on this and everything but I'm not huge on time challenge. I'm just taking my time and just kind of drawing from my memory. Here, get his little front paws in. There we go. There's his little front paws. That looks horrible. Horrible! That's what I get for drawing from memory. Okay, I can say that I could cheat a little bit because I do have a uh, little mouth in. Little... Wait, oh, he doesn't have nostrils. There we go. There we go. There's the little koi lava. He has his little round pudgy body. And I know this part here is dark. So I'm doing a little bit more detail than I did last time. I will link that down below. And then what I will I will pull up and do each of the mosque has a little back foot in there, too. There we go. We got Quilava. Pokemon number two. Ah, one of those stupid monkeys. Alright. Number two here is Simipor. Now, this one is Generation 5, one of the elemental monkeys. Mmm. And, okay, so we got the big monkey face here. This one's got the, let's get his monkey ears on each side here. And then he's got, this one is the water one, so his eyes are going to be closed, if memory serves me correctly, because he's the hear no, or see no evil. And then he's got luscious little girly locks here for hair. Oh, I'm just put in the monkey mouth here. I don't know if they have noses. I hardly ever use these things because I just, I find them kind of just creepy and just like blech. In my opinion, I'm like, generation like five is like one of my worst generations. I just, I don't like it. Anyway, here, let's give them some more hair. I think they have in, innards in their ear. And then this one's body, let's give it some shoulders. Kind of give it, it's, it's going to have a little bit of chubby body. I think his little hand goes like this. And then they have like these little 
V areas, I think, on their necks. Little monkey feet. And then, of course, probably need to give them a little monkey tail. Maybe curl it like thusly. Alright, there's number two. Let's go. I know I'm putting these randomly, but it's just the way I am because I'm offended. Alright, number three. Let's generate. Oh, far fetch. I know what far fetch looks like. Far fetch. That's why I'm writing. I'm writing far fetch. Okay, ducky boy. This is our duck with our leg, so we get him on the head, and he's got feathers up top. And I think he's got like a, get a bell there. I think he's got feathers like that, and his eyes. I don't know how his eyes are. I know he's cross-eyed. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, now we need... Let's get his... Lean in there. Give him a body. I realize he has no neck now. And we can't forget the most important part of Farfetch'd. His leak. idea how his feet are. Let's get little little quickie doodles. Maybe put a little extra feathers. Okay. Well there's a part fetch, I think. Okay, number four here is gonna be why not? Now this would be Boba Fett's baby form. Okay, I drew this recently. So Boba Fett's baby form. So get the big ugly head and the little V's for the eyes and big mouth here, right? I don't know. I think this one has the big whoop on the top of the head. I should be using my cluck eraser here for this. I'm not wasting my erasers. Okay, there we go. And then I believe it's got little like fluffy triangle ears. I say that and then I go straight for my eraser on my pencil. And then I've got a picture its body here and I think it goes has the like zigzaggy little loopies. I don't know. Does it have the big tail with the eyeballs too? I'm gonna give it to it. Here we go. We got a why not. So I think we could get a few more on this page, right? Okay, number Five. Yeah, that's a horrible five. My five sitting the look, I guess, is just the way I write. Gorka, guys. That would be... That is not pumpkin boo, but it's evolved form. So we kind of get the lawn. Keep your body. And then... Right... So probably horrible. This is looking more like a shuckle. Get some hands in there. 
This is gonna look horrible. Cause I have no idea. So that's the problem with this Pokemon that I don't use. And then I think it's got glowing. I'm gonna make the eyes too big. Glowing yellow eyes, right? Maybe with some shading. And this cut hair that kind of comes down like that, I think. And then kind of a ghosty mouth. All right, let's see. I can't. I think I can get six in here. Okay. Oh, collagen. Collagen. That would be season. A uh, Kalos starter. Um, some chest pen. Okay, so if it's on chest pen, which is the baby form, it's the big, fat, middle, awkward teenage stage. No idea how this thing looks. I only used it to evolve to get my uh, Pokedex. This looks like a big rip off of a mole. A really bad. Yeah, I have no idea what that looks like. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, go to page number two. Maybe we'll do uh, just a happy dozen. Right? It's almost Easter. We can do a happy dozen. If you're wondering about the cardboard in my thing, it's because I'm heavy handed. Alright, so this will be number seven. And number seven is. Uh, one of the Ultra Beast. I know that much. Which one? I don't remember. Oh. Which night, which piece is that? <laughs> okay. Well, um, for most of the cockroach, beast walls, the mosquito. Oh, crud. Deck attack is a new one, so it's Bastion. Would this be Poplio's evolved form? I'm gonna say this is Poplio's evolved form, so give it the big fat bee stinger. Or the poison. And it's got like a body that comes up like this, and then the head. And I think it's got dragon wings. Probably not there. Okay, let's move those wings, because I don't think the butt would have wings on it. So let's put the wings more like here. Here. There we go. I think it might have a line here to kind of emulate the dragon bee thing that it is. Okay, there we go. I, I'm going with that. I think that's correct. I have no idea. All right. Pokemon number eight is Ariano, which is. Generation 7's Chansey Rip... I'm uh, 5. 5, not 7. Chansey Ripoff. So it needs a kind of a round head here. And then it's got kind of a tear tape body. And I believe the head's like pink here. And then 
it's got like berry esque circle ears and big eyes here. Why am I doing the Pokemon ones? I don't know. And then big mouth. And it's got like a little fairy bow. And it comes down like this. So I think it's more scalloped. I don't know. Kinda comes like that. What does its hands do? I think its hands are just like Damn, right? I don't know. This is horrible. I'm not even trying anywhere on that one. Okay. So let's go number nine here. Okay. Monotone. So that one's easy. You just draw an ugly crescent moon. You give it a really big, huge, ugly eye. A little beak. And you put circles in here for the craters. Well, look at there. That was easy. Alright. Let's do number 10. And let's generate. Oh, of course. We get Steelix. Okay. Big ugly rock snake. That's more steel now. So I'm just going to make little circles here. I know this looks more like Onyx, but it is vault from Onyx, so. And then the head. Kind of more flat nosed. Looks more like Steelix, or Onyx than Steelix, and it's got like a big mouth. There we go. There's Steelix. That's horrible. I know. Steelix is one that I definitely feel like I need reference to draw. Alright, number 11 is the Aaron. He's so cute. He's like a chubby, like, mouse thingy. So he's got, like, little legs here and here. And he's got little black holes here and here. I'm thinking he has a line here. And then his head is, like, this. He's got like a blue eye that's like right here. And then nose. I think that's how he goes. <laughs> Alright. And our big finale this time around is gonna be uh V I B R Vibara. That would be Trimpus Middle Form Flight Guns before Flygon. Oh boy. So we got kind of, I think it's sort of got the long body with the tail here with the like fan thingies. Alright. You people watching this who are Pokemon fans are probably laughing at me horribly because I'm failing miserably with these. I think the wings are about the same shape. And it's got like little feet that are like this, right? I don't know, I'm gonna say it does. And then, hi. Um, not that I know it's got more than that many wings, so let's just put in two more on the side. And the other.
other side here, right? Okay, and then it needs its head. Huh. Let's just do a big circle for a head. Another big circle thingy here, right? And then some antenna. Oh, maybe it's got pincers. There we go. All right, here we are. Back on paint one. Sorry, my uh, tabletop tripod's being horrible here. All right, so I'm going to lift you up. So number one, Quailava, how did I do? Um, well, that's Quailava, all right. So that kind of worked out well. Number two, it's going to be hard because I'm, like, having to search them. And so it's Semipore. And so here's my drawing of Semipore. Here's Semipore. Okay, so I'm a little off in the tail, and it's a little bit longer for the, the um, V. But honestly, that's not bad. Totally forgot how their heads are. And they do have noses. Okay. All right, next up. Oh, sorry. Right there, by my thumb. Here we got Farfetch. So here's my Farfetch. I didn't do horribly. Totally forgot his tail. And then he's got like a little V on his head that I sort of emulated. But kind of mistake. I kind of did a penguin. Maybe I was implementing Peplop with this. Alright, number four was why not here. Here's my why not. Ah! Almost. The, uh,. Feet are still blue. And his smile's a little bit more happier than mine, but uh, not too bad for me. Okay, number five. I think this one's gonna be horrible. Okay, here's my Gorg, guys. Oh boy. Well, I got it in concept. I'm gonna hide one of the images here as I show you. Gorg, guys, there. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. So, that's what I did. Honestly, not as horrible as I thought. Not as horrible. Alright, let's turn the page here. Alright, there we go. Number seven. How badly did I do? I wonder if I actually got this one. I horribly drew the wrong Pokemon. That's the ultra piece of time ago. Not what I have. It's the chili. Fish looking one. I'm horrible with these ultra beasts. Number eight. I don't even know. I don't even want to know. That's going to be horrible. Okay, that's my I don't know right there. Here's I don't know right here. Okay, sort of got it. It wears more like a jacket. And I forgot the bunny tail on it. All right. So far, I think Quilla was in the lead, but uh, that's not exactly my fault on that one. All right, next up is Lunatone. Lunatone, so that's my Lunatone. Here's the Lunatone. Okay, so I forgot the big circle around the eye, and the beak's a little bit longer. But honestly, all right, there's my horrible Steelix. And that's what Steelix looks like. Let's get that picture right there. That's a good picture of him. So, yeah. We all know I failed. I put the little uh, love in here. Ah, oh, I missed a few things on him. But here's my little Aaron. Here's a little Aaron. Not horribly bad. I mean, I sort of remembered how he looked. Okay, and then my horrible second fail. Although, in my defense, so far I've only drawn one completely the wrong Pokemon. But that's an Ultra Beast and I just... Yeah, I already stated it. I'm not good at those. Okay, Fabrata. That's why I came up with Fabrata. Oh, I didn't do horrible. Overall, not bad, not bad. Vibrata was pretty good. Lunatone, okay, is an easy one. I got pretty close on Aron. That was horrible. This one was pretty bad. That was Populo's uh, 
evolved form versus um, what the actual Pokemon was, which I should have remembered. Uh, good attempt there. Why not was pretty good. It just colored the feet in, Ron. Gurger guys, yeah, that was pretty bad. Farfetch looks more like a duck. And, of course, Quilavo is pretty easy. Although I did a simple sketch for all of these. So, um, I will see you next time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a like and if you if you like more and you want more of me drawing random Pokemon by memory, um, don't forget to subscribe for more art videos. And I will box catch you later.